Men wanted in a bizarre crime involving a number of Jackson Square artists whose carts and artwork were stolen, tossed into the river, has surrendered to police. Now, the suspect, Landon Simones, who's on your screen, turned himself into police this morning. He's facing 11 counts of theft, but it was how some of that stolen art was recovered that caught our attention. Jada Cunningham has that story. This one. It is clean. It was full of mud. For artist Christine Roy, the these paintings bad. have one incredible story. Yep, it withstood really well, too. I was shocked that they were in good shape. One that starts two weeks ago. This is a big one that I was kind of glad I got back as well. When her art cart was pushed in the Mississippi. How, how do they do that? I just, I was like, wow, how does a person do that? With everything gone. Gosh. Chairs, umbrellas, tables, tools. Including her inspiration. The cart I built myself. Roy's career was now a blank canvas. <laughs> that's your livelihood, right? I mean, that is our livelihoods. That's what we do for a living full time. But the story doesn't stop there. In fact, it takes us about 26 miles down the Mississippi to Braithwaite, Louisiana. We usually go look for some logs or some, you know, some something that we can cut up with a sawmill. Or That's 13-year-old Isaac Grimion, who last week with his cousin was at the right place at the right time. Isaac's taking me to where my art cart is submerged. What do you think the chances are? Uh, you know, one in a million. That's right. Lodged in some trees along the riverbank. Man, y'all to go in there and get all this stuff out, huh? Was Roy's blue cart with okay. everything inside. The box is all full of water. If we didn't get this out soon, it, all the paintings would have been ruined. So we had to hurry it up. So that's how he was able to contact me. Whoa. Wow. I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. She came here and she was just so, so excited and so happy. You know, it made us happy and you know, it made my week. Isaac's actions made a dark situation light. Like this is my um, print rack. I didn't clean this stuff up yet. And gave me inspiration again. I'd lost some of my inspiration to create when this happened. And brought a lifetime of friendship between two people who no matter the distance. It's always good to do a good thing. Will always be connected yeah, through art. Is. Look at the front, it's great. Jay yeah. Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Glad it's still intact, where Roy believes the acrylic paint and varnish that she uses helped to protect her work. Isaac, who's since found more art, says he continues to be on the lookout for any other pieces that floats his way.